Good morning, folks. This is a good article put out by NASA about the electric particles that dominate our universe. Also, how they interact with our planet and even how they plan to monitor and test for these particles, their radiation, and the role they play in physics. Landslide caused by torrential rain in Austria yesterday turned deadly. That was after the storm ripped roofs off houses. Saying this for the third time, people are dying by the dozens in China from their extreme weather. It's almost not real. Zooming in on Papua New Guinea, north of Australia, we can see the most seismically active region of the last few hours with multiple five-pointers. The 1400 anomaly has been back for a few days, no less mysterious than before really. Looking up at the BX, we continue to see lines of multiple resonance around 2, 2.5 two Hz, along with the baseline resonance and traces at higher frequency. Nothing major on the solar wind data causing this. Yellow, the solar wind speed, remains around 500 km per second, higher than average, and the density, the orange, is just now returning to normal. Taking a look at Ovation Prime, you can see sudden pulses of charged particle bombardment occurring over the last few hours, and the Rio meter reveals a brief surge of solar plasma penetrating the magnetosphere at the red spike. So without any CME impact or solar flares, you can see polar frequency absorption affected at relatively high levels. Essentially, we're seeing effects from what should be minor space weather. That dark corona hole should hit Earth with a strong solar wind stream in the next 24 hours. The active regions behind it have bipolar magnetics, but no large sunspots and no dangerous mixing of the polarity. Up north, this corona hole may be at too high a latitude to be geo-effective, and if you didn't know, you better call somebody. That massive coronal hole is turning back this way. She'll affect Earth just before Mercury passes between Earth and Sun next weekend. Quake Watch builds until then, folks. An explanation video should be coming later today. That's the news. Be safe.